Attention, Pats Nation. Check out now the latest news that is shaking the day in Foxborough. About Kendrick Bourne, the New England Patriots might be willing to move on from two members of their 2021 free agent class. Kendrick Bourne and Jalen Mills have been flushed down the depth chart due to average 2022 seasons, and the additions of younger players at wide receiver and defensive back. Bourne and Mills could be two of the most talked about trade targets in preseason. Both players still have plenty to offer, but they may not fit into the Patriots' plans anymore. The Patriots may not be willing to trade anyone else in 2023, but there could be a situation in which Bailey Zapp earns interest and the team is comfortable moving on from him. Kendrick Bourne may not be with the Patriots much longer. Bourne has fallen down the wide receiver depth chart in recent years due to the additions of Juju Smith-Schuster and Devante Parker. A potential free agent signing of DeAndre Hopkins could further relegate Bourne at his position. Even without Hopkins, Bourne may not be effective inside the New England offense. He is coming off a 48-catch, 434-yard season that came after 70 receptions and 800 yards in his debut season, with the AFC East side. There is some production left in Bourne, but the situation in New England may not suit him anymore, especially if rookie Kayshawn Bout impresses in preseason. The Patriots could release Bourne, which is the likely route but they could dangle him on the trade market to see if they can get a day three draft pick or two in case there is a wide receiver needy team, looking for a veteran pass catcher. About Jalen Mills, Jalen Mills might be the biggest loser of the Patriots drafting Christian Gonzalez in the first round. The Patriots have Gonzalez and Jonathan Jones set to start at cornerback, while Kyle Duggar and Jabril Peppers are the favorites to start at safety. Mills could lose out on a roster spot to Adrian Phillips or rookie Marte Mapu at safety and there is not a path for him to be a backup cornerback with Marcus Jones and Miles Bryant in place. The former Philadelphia Eagles player had five passes defended and two interceptions last season, but he only played in 10 games. Mills could have a great preseason and still be on the outside looking in at a starting spot, and that could make him one of the better options on the trade market. Injuries and preseason performances elsewhere will dictate Mills' potential trade market, but he could be on the move if the perfect situation comes about. About Bailey Zapp, Bailey Zapp is a quarterback with some starting experience in the NFL. The second-year player was on the field for four games in 2022, but it is still more than other backup quarterbacks across the league. The Patriots would have to feel 100% comfortable with Trace McSorley and rookie Malik Cunningham backing up Mac Jones to deal Zapp at any point in 2023. If that is the case, Zapp could be discussed with other teams who may have quarterback needs develop as the regular season moves on. Any potential interest in Zap would likely come deeper into the regular season, especially if the Patriots feel more comfortable with their entire quarterback room, but it could happen if a team is in desperate need of a starter. About Dalvin Cook, leave it to ESPN's Jeremy Fowler to hit the tease button. Recently, he stoked the Dalvin Cook to New England rumors. He didn't necessarily pour gasoline on that fire, but said enough to whet everyone's appetite. Asked about the Patriots' level of interest in the former Vikings free agent running back, Fowler recently reported, My sense from asking around is the Patriots are at least intrigued. They have a bit of a need at running back, they want a back they can pair with Ramondra Stevenson. Bill Belichick does sense the urgency to improve that offense. Fowler also went on to say both the Dolphins and Jets are in on Cook. Now, we would like to know your opinion. What did you think about this news? Leave your opinion in the comment space below. If you are a big Patriots fan, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be part of our fan community here on YouTube. Thanks for watching this far, until the next video.